Hi, how are you today? It's been a while since I read stories or did recipes, but since it's getting close to <clears throat> Valentine's Day, I did another little story about <clears throat> Annabella, and she's going to go meet the, the King of Hearts. And uh, it was getting, uh, uh, she was getting ready for bed, and, and she, before she went to sleep, she had to have her famous peanut butter and banana sandwich. That's the only way she can have her dreams. But in her dreams, she was awoke, awakened by Annabelle, I mean, uh, excuse me, Buttercup, the little butterfly who always takes her on adventures. And they were invited to um, the king's castle for a special occasion, but she didn't know why they were invited. <clears throat> when, they, um, when they got to the castle... They were met by the king's son, Alan, and um, he was glad to see Annabella because they always had a lot in common too because they both liked peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Getting back to the reason why Annabella was going to be there, they had to help plan the king's birthday. Annabella met with the royal cooks and they had a lot of baking to do and they needed more help. So then she sent a message for Mia Mouse to come and help her because Mia Mouse was a good baker and she liked to make cakes. So anyway, the, everybody was decorating the castle and the queen's servants, they loved to help. Annabelle because I really liked her because she was so nice and she never demanded anything from every anybody. She was a very giving person. The king had no idea, <coughs> excuse me, what was going on because Alan, Alan, his son, kept him busy. Tell him they had to plan a party for their mother for Valentine's Day. So it was the next day, and everybody was busy getting everything ready. The courtyard was getting decorated. They wanted to surprise the king. He had no idea <clears throat> what was going on. So then the queen asked the queen, she asked Annabella to bring the king <clears throat> to the courtyard. When the king got to the courtyard, he couldn't believe his eyes. There was a big cake. Uh, biggest cake he ever seen and with candles and everybody was singing happy birthday to him and he was so happy that he cried well Annabella she she didn't cry she was happy but she had to go find a special present for him and the king really liked Annabella because he she had a good heart and was always helping out her friends. Annabella had the king's servants bring a great big box into the courtyard to him. The king was very curious. He didn't know what could be in it. Annabella told him to open the box and when he did, Annabella's very favorite toy was in her in there. Her little dog apple fritter. <clears throat> well, she was always giving things that she liked because she wanted people to enjoy everything. The king called all his friends and family to see the gifts, and now he told everybody how unselfish <clears throat> Annabella was, and she, he had a gift for her. The king handed Annabella the gift, and when she opened it, she found a locket in it in the shape of a heart. Do I have, I don't know if I have the locket on there. Anyway. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, yeah, okay. The shape of the heart. The king's son, Alan, put the locket on Annabella's neck, gave her a hug. Then he whispered into her ear, and she started to cry. Well, she cried and cried because she had to get home before anybody found her missing. They said all their goodbyes, and Mia Mouse asked Annabelle, What did the prince tell you? Oh, it's nothing, she, she said. He wanted 
Except he wanted to marry me someday when I grow up, but she said, I don't think that'll ever happen. So, as time goes on, Annabella grew up, and then one day her parents surprised her and were taking her on a train trip, airplane and train trip to England. She was met by a, a boy the same age as her, and his name was Alan. Alan told her, Annabella told her mother about him, and when they were getting into the carriage that was waiting for her, sitting in the carriage was Alan, the king's son, and they were all invited to stay at the castle. Annabella was only 16, and she thought to herself, Maybe someday I'll marry him. What do you think? And that's how Annabella got rewarded with the king and the queen. And then someday she probably will marry the, the prince. And then they will live happily ever after. And they'll have to bring all her little imaginary friends there and keep them in a secret place so... So Annabella's children will know about all the adventures. And you have a good Valentine's Day. And um, take care and stay out of the snow. Love you. Bye.